I just found some early development footage, unused animations, and even an alternate and unused version of the intro of the Amazing Digital Circus. So get ready, because these Amazing Digital Circus deleted scenes might blow your mind. As many of you probably don't know, The Amazing Digital Circus has been in the works for a very long time, with pre-production starting in the middle of 2022, almost a year and a half before it finally released near the end of 2023. So it stands that there is a reason that many of these clips and animations didn't make the final cut. The first few clips I found for you guys is some scenes from the first episode of The Amazing Digital Circus, and there are some pretty interesting things I noticed from these early versions of the scenes. You will notice that the lighting has not been added to the scene, and some characters look a bit more primitive compared to their final versions, such as Ragatha's dress having a completely different color pattern, or Zubal not yet having the prints on her torso like the final. One of the other early development scenes that caught my eye was the scene where Ragatha and Palmni first encounter Kofmo after he's been turned into an abstract monster. If you look at the earlier and unfinished version, you will notice that Kofmo looks a lot less menacing before the glitchy texture and blinking eyes were added to him. Another thing I found was the walking animations for many of the characters that never got used, or were used but never shown in the final render of the episode. Watching these makes you wonder what else these animations could have been used for. Like what will Palmni be running from? We also get to see the entire circus crew walking together, which makes me wonder if we will ever see these characters team up to stop Kane to try and leave this digital circus, instead of the chaos in episode 1. This part shows the running animations of an abstracted character, but something to note here is that the text below it reads abstracted Kofmo run cycles. And well, well, in the first episode, when abstracted Kofmo is cast into the cellar, we catch a vague glimpse of many characters who used to be a part of the circus, which suggests that all the circus members who have been abstracted will most likely look the same. But since this text singles out Kofmo being the one who has been abstracted, instead of just being an abstracted circus member, I am led to believe that if another circus member is going to be abstracted, they will look different than Kofmo's abstracted form, even only if it's a slight amount. Well, these are not necessarily unused animations from the episode, we do have a various amount of facial renders and animations from each of the Amazing Digital Circus's iconic cast members, such as this animation of Palmni holding in vomit, or looking very bothered by something, similar to how we saw her at the dinner scene of the very first episode. Another early scene I found was a demo version of the scene where Ragtha and Palmni first meet Kofmo after he's abstracted. An interesting thing to note is the use of a more cartoony animation style in the demo, with Ragatha's movements being far more fluid fluid, like that of a cartoon character. Well, in the final release of the episode, her movements are a lot more toned down. According to the lead animator, this was to make the scene more serious in tone since the scene depicts Pomni and Ragatha in danger, and Ragatha's goofy, more cartoony movements could disrupt that tone. Here, we are shown what is described as the cursed development photos, and I don't think I could agree more. Many of these characters are shown to be distorted or modeled in a very strange way, where their elements of their design clip through their body. Like here, where Jax's eyes and teeth are being fused together. But something I did want to theorize about for a moment is this screenshot showing Jax looking very creepy and demented in a way he's never shown in the pilot episode. As you may know, it's widely theorized that Jax will be one of the first characters after Kaufman to become abstracted with people speculating it to happen as early as the very next episode. Considering that episode 2 of The Amazing Digital Circus has been confirmed by the show's creator Gooseworks to be having Jax as the main focus, this makes me wonder what the process of abstracting will look like. I don't think they will just immediately transform from a normal circus performer to a giant beast, like what Kofmo looked like in the pilot. And this image makes me think that perhaps abstraction is a slower process, and this could be a part of the process, showing Jax at the beginning beginning of his abstraction. Let's just hope that isn't the case though, because if Jax were to abstract, the fandom would probably go insane. Another scene that I have here shows Palmni on her way to help Ragatha after Kofmo's attack. But Palmni doesn't walk as much as she just floats? Here's the thing I was very excited to show you guys. As you can see, I found an alternate version of the show's original intro theme. Let's get right into the show! And Skangoo and Zubo and Kinga too Ragatha and Jax And Endless Kofmo Many wonders can be found And you're spinning round and round until you fly To the moon and then the sun and we don't know why you won't believe your eyes Prepare for a surprise 
Please don't touch that door, there's so much more You don't know what's in store Watch out for the this theme I found also has alternate lyrics. For instance, instead of the original version glitching out and saying We hear different lyrics singing Not only is there that though, but the intro has more lyrics that are not present in the final episode. This is very interesting because one of the most iconic and fan favorite things about this show is the incredibly catchy intro theme, and hearing the extended version of the intro song is actually pretty cool. It also is interesting to hear what's supposed to be Kane singing and telling Pomni not to touch the door before it has even been explained why she is there. As you may know, Kane has been hiding the fake exit door for a while because it's the entrance to the void, which he is self-conscious about and doesn't want the cast to see his unfinished and incomplete work. The final thing I wanted to show you guys were the character animations uploaded to Glitch Productions YouTube channel a couple of months before the show even premiered. There's some demo versions we can look at, and it's been revealed for the first time that these characters have been animated, so it's intriguing to think about how the animators figured out how to make the characters behave on screen to fit their personalities. We are also shown the very first piece of animation ever for the Amazing Digital Circus. Welcome to the Amazing Digital Circus! Are you ready to see something incredible? Well, too bad. You're gonna see it anyway. In today's show, we've got quite the performance. Whoops, wrong thingamagigama. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pomni here is gonna perform something you've never seen before. Don't worry, my dear! You won't even die horribly! Well, I think we both had something to learn from that experience. It shows Kane, the circus's ringmaster, showing the viewers everything that there is to know about the digital circus before revealing the show's star, Pomni, and some antics between Pomni and Kane where Kane is throwing knives at Pomni, who is tied to a spinning target, which I do admit is quite comedic and a great way to reveal the show. But let me know if I missed any more deleted scenes in the show. And if you guys want to see more videos about the amazing digital circus, click on this video right here. 